Hey there, Colorado. I'm Kyle Thornton. And I'm Chris and Miranda. Hey, Chris, are you going to the dance? Of course I am. Well, what are you going as? A princess. Me too! Well, let's take a look at what to expect. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already September 25th. Oh, I know. I've been waiting for this day for weeks. I can't wait to party it up. Well, we're probably just the first ones here. I guess we can wait. Okay. I wonder why anybody isn't here yet. Are you sure we're here on the right day? Remember, it's on the 26th. Did you know that today is Constitution Day? Let's take a look at how well you know our Constitution. Hi, I'm Beth Sherlock, and as some of you may know, September 17th is Constitution Day. We went out and asked some questions about the Constitution. Let's check it out. Are you aware that September 17th is Constitution Day? I am. No, I was not. My birthday is on September 21st. Of course I am. Definitely. The Constitution is important because it provides structure for the functioning of our government. It delineates the branches of government, how they're supposed to work with one another, and in the amendments, makes changes to that and adds the rights of the people in the document called the Bill of Rights, which is the first ten amendments. Do you know who wrote the Constitution? No, Thomas Jefferson. The fathers of our country? The ideas of a lot of the important amendments and framework came from a man we call the father of the Constitution. His name? James Madison. Who wrote it? James Madison. Do you know how many amendments are in the Constitution? No. Twenty? <laughs> ten? Ten? 20 something. There are 27 amendments. 27? Yes, that that's right? correct. That is correct. High five. Do you have a favorite amendment in the Constitution? The right to bear arms. I plead the fifth. The first one. I like the gun one. Are you planning on doing anything to celebrate this wonderful day? We'll probably do something in history class, but no. Not nothing? Not one thing. I'm going to go to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm thinking to go into Disneyland. Well, El Dorado, have a fantastic Constitution Day and a patriotic week. Wow, I wouldn't have been able to answer any of those questions. New subject. Sports! Sports. El Dorado football tied in their first game this season. Brock Dunn rushed for 142 yards with a touchdown. El Dorado then blocked a 44-yard field goal attempt on the last play to preserve the tie. Girls Volleyball won their first game of the season, three games to two. Andrea McHugh led the team with 24 kills. Boys Water Polo suffered a devastating defeat against San Clemente, 21-6. Alex Day Bartolomeo had three goals. Their next game will be at Western High School tomorrow. Did you know that El Dorado has welcomed a few new teachers and staff members? No, but I hear we also have a new activities director. Yeah, and Hawk Talk reporter Jesse McCoy was privileged to meet him. I come from La Costa Canyon High School, which is down in Carlsbad, down in San Diego. And I was the activities director there and a health teacher in PE for three years. Basic duties, uh, I run the ASB class on a, on a daily basis. And then that, from that point forward, I had to take care of a lot of uh, little admin duties over the course of the day. Um, but basically that ASB period per day, and then all the stuff that comes with it, all the activities, dances, athletic games, and, and so forth. Great from the administration point, from the staff part, uh, from the faculty part, and then it's been great from the students' uh, perspective as well. It has seemed like a family, something that I missed from when I left the school in L.A. for seven years. It was a very family-oriented school, and I feel like I'm coming back to that, so it's been a good time so far. Thanks, guys. Now here's extra announcements. The Crab Shack Relay. This will be happening on the Theatron on Friday. Be there to support your class. As a reminder, if you are issued a temporary truant readmit from the attendance office, you have 24 hours to submit a written note signed by your parent or guardian to verify your absence. Congratulations to Alex DeBarsolomeo on being named the Orange County Register's Boys Water Polo Player of the Week for his outstanding play last week in the Chris Wise Memorial Water Polo Tournament. Want to be a part of something spectacular? Audition for the fall play. Auditions are open to all academically eligible students and will occur Monday after school. See Mrs. Switzer in the theater for more info. 
The PSAT is now on sale until Tuesday, September 22nd. Deadline to register is 3.30 p.m. on the 22nd. The cost is $25. Interested in joining either the men's or women's lacrosse teams? Come to a meeting on Friday at lunch in P35. See Mrs. Roberts for more details. Aloha, El Dorado. Our first Aloha dance is on Saturday, September 26th from 8 to 11 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $10 with ASB and $15 without ASB. Congratulations to our very own ASB president, Derek McGrath, for being this week's Senior of the Week. Derek is a four-year member of ASB and highly respected by his peers. Keep up the amazing work. This is a friendly reminder that you must take your senior picture for the yearbook by the end of September or one will be chosen for you. Don't forget. Hey seniors, show your class spirit by buying the 2010 t-shirt. Shirts go on sale today through September 25th. Buy it now. Well, that's all the time we have. Remember, Eldorado, be as you are. And are as you be.